Hey, how are you? Jack Scalfani here, and it's another episode of Cooking with Jack. All right, so this is episode, let's see, this is episode 49, which means my 50th episode is going to be next week. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to try and do something special for my 50th. <laughs> it's my 50th, can you believe it? I don't even look 50. Um, it's going to be ah, the Bacon Explosion. Now, if you guys have never seen the Bacon Explosion, I'm going to show you a couple shots of kind of how this thing's put together. Um, if you love bacon, like most of America loves bacon, <laughs> uh, it's really crazy. I'm not the inventor of this. Somebody else developed it. But I'm going to attempt to do this Bacon Explosion. It's huge. It takes a long process. But we're going to film it, and we're going to try and make that our 50th episode, okay? So there is a look at it. Looks good, huh? Okay, but in the meantime, right now, we're going to show you how to make hamburgers slash meatloaf. And the reason why I'm putting these two shows together is because I make my hamburgers the same way I make my meatloaf. So we're going to do both. We're going to make a big batch. We're going to split it, make some patties and cook them as hamburgers, take the rest of it and form it into meatloaf. All right, so all you're going to need is uh, some ground beef. I got three pounds of ground beef here. So I'm doing a big batch so I can split it, okay? Three pounds of ground beef. A jar of barbecue sauce. I personally have the best barbecue sauce you'll ever taste. That's the name of it. And some breadcrumbs. And you also want to throw in an egg per pound. So I, that's what I do. You don't have to if you don't want to. Uh, I'm going to put in one egg per pound. So it's three eggs. All right. Now the key to this is, this is really important. If you don't have breadcrumbs, you can always crumble up crackers, use stale bread pieces. Uh, just, just wing it. The reason why you put in the bread product is to keep it all together because when we put the sauce in, it's going to make it real loose, okay? This is going to bind it, all right? So let's bring it in close and show you how to mix this up and then uh, we'll start cooking. Okay, so you got your three pounds of meat. Gonna throw our eggs in there. Now most of you freak out because I leave my jewelry on, okay? I don't care how you do it. You want to take your jewelry off, that's fine. I'm not taking mine off. I'll scrub it out later. You know, it's not like you're going to be eating this anyway. Uh-oh, shell. A lot of you haven't seen how my sauce pours. This is what's great about my barbecue sauce. It's super, super thick. Let's see? Almost like a, like a duck sauce. It's really delicious. You're going to use about three-fourths of the jar. I use a quarter of the jar per pound. There we go. Okay. Now, here's the part that's gonna hold that all together because when you start mixing that, it's getting all mushy. Take a bunch of breadcrumbs. This is all by eye, guys. All right, we're gonna mix this up and then if it still feels loose, we're gonna throw more breadcrumbs in. We're gonna keep throwing breadcrumbs in until it looks uh, kind of uh, kind of gummy, but not, not wet and loose. Now let's make our, some of our patties and we'll use the rest as meatloaf. All right, so this is what I do. I like big hamburgers, so I make big patties. Get a round ball, act like you're making a, uh, act like you're making a meatball, okay? Just roll it in, get it all compact, give it a few slaps, okay? Then, right, once you think it's nice and solid and smooth, then you start giving it some shape as a patty. Just flatten it a little bit more and a little bit more. Keep rotating it evenly, okay? There you go. Make it as thin or as thick as you want them. Don't matter to me. Remember, this is gonna this is gonna shrink up a little bit, okay? So there's one patty right there. Lay it right there on your on your uh, uh, wax paper. I always use wax paper for my burgers, okay? And then grab another one. We're gonna do two patties just for the show. So I'm gonna grab another another group of meat here. Okay, you need to take the whole clump of this. This is gonna be really simple. Ready? Is that cool? That's easy, huh? And you're just going to form it however you want your meatloaf to look. Another thing I like to do, uh, most people will put sauce on top. I don't do sauce on top right away. Okay, I'm going to let it cook most of the way. I don't want my sauce to burn, but I will dust it with some of the best gourmet seasoning you'll ever taste. Okay, give it some flavor. Some good stuff in there. All right, use any seasoning you want. Let this cook about 10 minutes to 15 minutes before you're going to pull it out, you're going to take the barbecue sauce, the last little bit you have in the jar, and you're going to spread it all on top and give it a nice uh, outer coating of sauce right on the top. 
you're gonna put it back in, it's gonna crustate. And I'll show you what that looks like, okay? Let's get this in the oven right now. Let's go ahead and put the oven at 350. So we have the meatloaf in the oven. It's at 350, we're gonna let that cook for a while. About 10 minutes before we take it out, we'll put some barbecue sauce on top and then we'll let it cook uh, the last 10, 15 minutes. The, uh, the burgers, we're gonna grill in a minute. I'll show you that, we'll throw them in the pan. But I uh, just wanna do some viewer mail real quick while we're waiting on the oven. Uh, I got an email from 373-61811. That's the name, it's all numbers. 373-61811 <laughs> uh, made a comment about the Egg Genie. A lot of you made the same comment. This is just one of the many that I got. When I made the poached eggs, you guys remember how it stuck and I totally destroyed the egg and it, it just looked nasty because it wouldn't come out a little white tray? Yeah, anyway. Uh, that's supposed to be, that tray is supposed to be spray either greased with some butter or a little oil or it spray it with some uh, kitchen spray, you know, nonstick spray. I didn't do that. It should have plopped right out if I had done that. So uh, this person uh, is letting me know, okay? So now that you know, uh, go back and watch the Egg Genie again and just kind of imagine I did it right. <laughs> All right, so let's go over to the stove right now. We're going to grill up some burgers while the uh, meatloaf's cooking in the oven. One of the things you wanna do before you put the patties in the pan, season the patties before you, uh, before you put it down, face down, okay? Then you can season the top part. The one thing you don't wanna do is seal the patty so the seasoning doesn't get into it, okay? All right, so you're gonna hit it in a nice hot pan. Here's the other one. See, now you can, beautiful. Now you can hit the other side with seasoning and the patty hasn't sealed. It'll take in all that seasoning. All that flavor will cook in and not just fall off the patty. There you go. We'll grill that up. We got it inside the oven. We got the uh, meatloaf going. Mm -mm -mm. We're eating good tonight. All right, let's take a look at that. That's beautiful. And this is gonna be probably rare in the center like I like it. Yeah, you guys might not like it rare. But uh, we're gonna cut a section out here and see how it looks. Look at this. Look how beautiful that is. That is absolutely good color. See that? That's perfect. All right, let's give that a taste and see what that tastes like. Now, you can't see, it's funny, you can't see any barbecue sauce in here, but if I remember correctly, last time I made it this way, it was just delicious. You could taste all the flavor of the barbecue sauce all through the meat. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Wow. It's amazing, it's a barbecue burger. Use any sauce you want. You don't have to use barbecue sauce. You can use A1, you can use teriyaki. Use whatever you want, but make sure. Mm. Oh, wow, that's great. Make sure you got the breadcrumbs to hold it together. Because if not, this whole thing will start falling apart. This is absolutely perfect. It's delicious. Ooh, I love it dark on the bottom. That's all the seasoning cooked up because I put a lot of seasoning on it. All right, so let's go check out our uh, meatloaf and see how that's doing. It's almost done. It's been in there for about 45 minutes. We're gonna top this off right down the middle. There you go, just like that. Now you're gonna pop that back in for about 10, I'd say about 15 more minutes and we should be done. Oh, look at that, that's beautiful. So we're gonna cut a section. Let's cut this right here. Ooh. Can you see that you can't even see the juice coming out? That's too bad. Look at the juice just coming out. Right as I cut it. Oh. Now remember to let this set. Once again, we let all our meat set. I let mine set in the pan for about five to ten minutes. But uh let's take a look. Did it cook all the way? Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? All right came out perfect. Did you believe that? The hamburgers and this meatloaf, they should taste identical, honestly. Mmm. Wow. Nothing but flavor. All the way through. You can taste the seasonings from the barbecue sauce. There's tons of seasoning in that. Mmm. It's delicious. It's so tender, yet it's fully cooked. Amazing. Another hit. There's how you make hamburgers and meatloaf. We'll see you guys on the next episode. Thanks for cooking with Jack. Take care.